Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. From today we will learn Laravel and here we are going to learn Laravel from very basic to advanced. So this will be very beginner friendly tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how you can actually install Laravel in your device, I mean in your PC. First of all I am going to start with Laravel installation. So to install Laravel, what I have to do, first of all you need to download Node.js. So go for Node.js and then click here download and click here Windows installer dot msi. So I have already installed it. I mean download it. So I'll not download it once again. And then what you need is jump. Why? Because we know Laravel is a framework of PHP. So you know PHP is server side scripting language, right? And we need a server for uh, this. I mean to run PHP, we need a server, right? So jump provide us local host server. So we have to download jump. And here is the uh, first link or you may actually click here download and then go with the latest one and click here download and if download is not starting then you can click here and then click here and then within short time it will actually start downloading here you can see it start downloading but I will not download it because I have already downloaded it now what I need is composer and go for the download and here you can see composer setup.exe just click here and it will start downloading so what I need is uh, first of all node.js you have to download Node.js, then Jamf, then Composer. And now we need to install them. So go to the download section. I've already uh, downloaded them. So yeah, let's start with Node.js at first. So double click on it, then click on next, 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 and then next and install. So it will actually start installing. Now click on finish. Now if I remove it and if I open CMD as administrator, if I say here node, here you can see welcome node.js and we have downloaded it, right? All right, now what I need uh, to install is composer. So double click on it, install for all user, then select yes. So don't check it, okay? Keep it as it is, then go click here next. Okay, so uh, actually I don't want to install it right now because I need to install it after uh, jump, okay? So we'll actually install jump at first. Click OK. Go next. Next. And uh, you can actually select any folder you want to install it. So I'm going to go with the folder web development W. So I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to click uh, on it. And I'm going to create here a new folder. So I can actually OK it. And here I will say jump. That's it. Then go next, next, next. And after the instruction will be complete, then we'll actually install Composer. Why? Because Composer is a PHP dependency manager. So uh, we need PHP installed in our device, right? At first, then we can actually go and install Composer. Okay. So let's wait for some time. All right. Here you can see we have already installed it. Now click on finish. And here you can see the control panel. So right now I'm going to close it and I'm going to install composer so double click on it and install for all user yes so next and we just have to mention here uh, what is this uh, choose the command line php you want to use so here we just have to you know add the location and you just have to go through browse and then uh, where you actually install gem i mean in which drive here you can see i'm in uh, w drive i mean web development drive and here you can see our jam folder so just go here and go for php here you can see php uh, so go inside php and then select this dot exe right click on it and go to the properties here you can see dot exe so we just have to add it that's it then go next please confirm okay so we just have to check it then next then next install next finish so we have already installed all of them what we need actually so now we will go here and type cmd and here i'm going to say composer so we have uh, the composer right here you can see right now uh, we need what is uh, we need the laravel uh, installer so for this we have to go to the cmd and i'm going to go as run as administrator and here i'm going to say that composer so i need a command okay 
so here I will say com c o m p o s e r composer global require laravel slash installer just type this command and then press enter so git was not found in the path skipping download so okay so we just have to go to the web development folder and here so i'm going to actually open shield here so i'll press i mean i will uh, go here and i will say cmd this path and i will press enter so here uh, cmd will be open okay and here i will say composer t-o-s-e-r composer global require laravel slash installer press enter so in a git downloader app line 82 what is the problem here so let's just copy the problem press enter to copy it and go to the i actually go to the i mean i will take a help okay so let's go to the deep seek and here i'm going to paste it and i will press enter just copy it go here and go to this path i will paste it and press enter all right so what i have to do is i have to change it right okay so remove the semicolon from this line so I'm going to copy it and here I'm going to press Ctrl plus F, paste it, then find next. Here. So we just have to remove this semicolon, right? Okay. So now Ctrl S to save this file. Now let's check once again. Press enter. All right. It's working. We have to wait for some times. Now we need to create a project. So to create a project, we have to go to the jam folder and inside jamp we have htdocs so go for it and you can actually delete all of them so we don't need them and here actually i want to open cmd so i'm going to uh, go in the address bar and here i'm going to say cmd and press enter it will actually open me a command line here so i don't need it so i'll uh, close it and here i'm going to say that i want laravel uh, project so i'll say laravel new and the project name uh, let's say app you can give her any name, any project name. So I'm starting with app. So yeah, Laravel new, then the project name app. Press enter. Yeah, you can see. I saying which uh, star kit would you like to install? I said, okay. Yeah, maybe we have to wait for some times. Okay, I actually want to use MySQL. So I'll say MySQL. Around the default database migration. Yes. All right, so everything is done here. Now let's go back and here you can see the project app. So this is the project. Now, if you want to run this project, we need to start the server at first. So go for jamp, you have installed. Here you can see jamp. So just open, I mean, start this Apache server so that we can run our project all right now let's go to any browser let's say this browser and here i will say localhost local host h o s t host then slash so here you can see uh, we have app here so if i click here app and then go to public let's go for public here now you can see internal server error so all right, so copy it. Here you can see unknown database app connection MySQL select all from sessions where ID. What is this? Okay, let let's say uh, I want to copy it and let's go to the deep seek once again. And here I'm going to paste it because I don't know. I mean I don't understand it. So yeah, let's see. This error message indicate that your application is trying to connect to MySQL database name app. All right, okay. So we have to, yeah. I got it. So we have to create the database at first. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now let's go here and we have to create the database app. And to do this, we have to go to the localhost slash php my admin to access the php my admin control panel. 
And here I'm going to create a new database and the database name should be app, let's say, or any other name actually you want to give here. And I'm going to create it. And what I need to do is uh, update your configure in .env. So we have to update the environment file and that is in the inside app. And then we have to go for environment and that is .env here. So we just have to open it. Uh, okay, all right. I'm going to open it. Open with more app like Notepad. All right, here. And what I have to do is I have to go for database and let's change the name of. Uh, I'll go here. I'll say data. Okay, here you can see database name app is app. All right, so it's already there. So we don't have to wait for it. And then we have to uh, run a command and that is php artisan migrate. So let's go and uh, run the command, paste it, enter here. All right, done. Now, I think it will work. And here you can see it's working. Deploy now. So, yeah. So this is the Laravel project. All right. So thank you so much. Uh, that's it for today. We have installed Laravel in our PC. And uh, I show you all the steps, uh, step by step. And uh, yeah, that's it. If this video is helpful for you, please make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.